Hello and thanks for looking back at the channel and here we are up in the loft at the main Super 4 layout and our first running session of 2021. So to mark the start of the year I thought we'd do something slightly different so today I've selected two examples of the same loco and here they are. These are two models made by Triang Hornby and then Hornby of the excellent 9F. We've got a satiny black liveried version here which is probably slightly later than the other one. This might be about 1973. And then we've got the famous Evening Star and that is from 1972 actually. I do know that because the instruction book is in the box and it's got the booklet and it's got the date stamp of around March 1972. And like most Triang Locos of this age it's got quite a nice gloss livery. So this is indeed R861 Evening Star and that's going to be pulling the slightly later Hornby coaches I've selected. Um, we've got four on the two middle ones are R433 composites and then we've got a brake and third class at each end. That's, um, I believe it's R434. Now getting back to this rather purposeful looking satiny black freight service today, we've got the black 9F which is R550 and that's going to be pulling a selection of wagons from different eras. We've got a converter wagon there so we've got Hornby 00. We did see these on the last video but I've added a few extra wagons in. Got some nice cable drums there. Extra grain wagon. Another converter wagon and then we'll end up with a couple of Triang and Wren wagons. So that's going to be our freight service on the downward run. Now I don't normally show you any boxes because mainly my models don't have them. But today I'm lucky enough to have the box for each of these locos, so I thought we'd just take a quick look, especially at the Evening Star box, because that's a great picture. Fantastic picture on there, and nice to see it still says Triang, so Triang Hornby Model Railways. And look at this, see if I can zoom in on that. £9.99 for this R861, so quite a lot of money in 1972 I believe. Be nice to get new locos for that now though. <laughs> and this is the slightly more Spartan modern box gone with the Triang, just says Hornby Railways. Uh, I don't know whether that's the original box for the model, but it does say, see if I can just get that there. It's looking at those wagons, isn't it? R550, and that's the black livery. They've both got the same insert, but I do think that evening star box is particularly attractive. Right well I think the time's come now to see if we can get these services running. Now they do as I've mentioned have the Ringfield motor so we should be able to get some nice slow running today. So I want to start up the upward line first, the passenger service. So I'm just reaching down to the controller. We've got the correct way and let's just watch this go round for a lap or two first. Great looking detail on the valve gear. Smooth runner, you can really hear the wheels of the rolling stock. And we'll just follow this around the back of the layout. So through the new station. And I rather think the comments I got last week about the station are 100% right. I think I stand virtually no chance of finding an extension for this. So just going to be pleased that I've actually managed to cobble together enough spares to make the station look good. Now I was going to bring a stopwatch, I forgot it actually, but we're looking at around between 30 and 40 seconds for a circuit at these speeds. So that's quite a nice bit of scale running. So let's get the freight service running. So just need to reach to the downward controller, get that moving away. And we'll follow this one round as well. 
The Hornby double O wagons give quite a bit of resistance. They're not so bad on the straight and even when oiled, but once you start going round the curves, the wheels pull into the bearings a bit and even when oiled, they can be a little bit tough. But they look really good. Right, well I'm going to try and concentrate now and see if we can get some nice shots of these locos just as they make their way around the main lines. Really hear the wheels going over the points and the diamond crossings. Great sounds. I don't think you can fail to be impressed by these, considering that they're from the 1970s. Probably one of Triang's finest moments before they went out of the field. Just wonder what other locos they had on the drawing boards when they were making this evening star. We have, of course, got the Black Five, which came along in 1973, another great tender-driven loco. And then they did a, a revamp of the Britannia into tender drive as well. Um, I believe that was then called the Oliver Cromwell. I don't have one of those, unfortunately. I bet that's a great loco. I have to keep my eye out, see if there's ever any one of those for sale. So here comes the freight service, and we'll just take a look at the wagons as they pass by. Those cable drums look great, don't they? Let's get a look at the evening star as it approaches the two girder bridges. Of course we can see the daylight under the boiler on this model which at the time meant that tender drive was the only option because for loco drive they still had the X04 as their sole motive power and there's no way you'd get one of those in the loco and preserve the cutouts under the boiler. Obviously I think the later Hornby versions with the newer type CAN motors that are loco drive overcame that problem. I really think this gloss livery looks quite good. Anyway, they've been running at this speed for a little while, so I think it's time to perhaps up the controller a little bit. So we've got the evening star now, starting to get up to more of an express speed. I think I'm going to leave the freight train as it is. So it's rushing through the station now along the back of the layout. And then going to make its way under the up and over branch line. Looks quite good at this speed. Hardly any noisier. I have got a bit of a problem with the traction tyres on the Black 9F. You might notice a slight oscillation in the tender. It really needs a new set. I've got some second-hand ones that I've put on because the others were strangely just 
slipping on the wheels, so it's going better, but they're a little bit narrower than the actual exact replacement, so hopefully I'll be able to source some of those. I think they're quite easily available from the internet. Well, we're coming to the end of our running session today. I've really enjoyed running these 9Fs. Now, you might just see parts up on the branch line. We've got a LMS 8F. So that should be pulling our freight train next week. And we've got something a bit different on passenger duty. I won't tell you exactly what, but it's slightly newer than the Evening Star. Another tender drive. So I'm looking forward to running that next week. It's one of the later models in my collection, but nevertheless a really great runner. So as I enjoy just running these two 9Fs around the main lines a little bit longer, until the next video, I'm going to say goodbye.